Maybe one day I want to shave my head. I don't know. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be an Ulta haul, but I'm going to do it like a try-on style, so whatever I've purchased, I'm going to put it on my face and test it out today. I did basically buy everything from like the drugstore part of Ulta. Also, I'm kind of bummed out because I thought to myself, you know what would be fun? Flamingos. So I put on my flamingo earrings and I put on my flamingo shirt, but you can't see the flamingos on my shirt, so you would never know that I'm like matching and it's like really cute. So... Yeah. So before I get into the actual makeup products, there are two random things that I purchased, but they're still part of my Ulta haul, so I thought I'd mention them. The first one is from La Roche-Posay, and this is the Effoclair Medicated Gel Cleanser. Target's excess oil helps clear acne breakout with 2% salicylic acid. I don't necessarily have like oily skin or anything like that, but there's a lot of times where my skin just freaks out and I get a lot of blemishes and I don't really have something right now that kind of like targets that so I thought this would be really really nice to have I've been hearing a lot of really good things about this brand so I'm really excited to try this out and then I got the EOS shave cream in a tropical fruit I always get the pink one I think it's like strawberry but this one smells really good honestly now I'm kind of like why why did I get a shave cream I go to laser maybe one day I want to shave my head I don't know Every time my hair is in a bun and I zoom in, I kind of look bald, but we're just gonna ignore that. It's not a cute look on me. But to prep the skin, I got the... I don't, actually don't even know if this is new, but this is the Mario Badescu... Badescu... Who, who knows? Facial spray with aloe, chamomile, and lavender. I do have, like, the rose one. I've used that for a while, but this one I haven't tried. I haven't even smelled it. Oh, that's, like, the spa... Aloe, chamomile, and lavender are like really calming ingredients, so I feel like this is going to be something that's going to add a bit of hydration to the skin, like refresh it, but also like calm it down if it's like freaking out. I'm going to give this a little spritz. The mister on the spray is maybe not the finest mist, but it smells really, really good. It's very refreshing. I feel calm already. For my actual primer, I'm going to try out the Physician's Formula Spotlight Illuminating Primer with Age Defying actives i tried this out once i don't remember what i thought of it but it made my skin look really really pretty very glowy so it is kind of like it's illuminating definitely you're gonna tell once i put this on it kind of has like you see that it's like a liquid highlighter almost you can definitely see that glow like it's so freaking pretty my skin actually looks like super healthy at the moment you can definitely wear this by itself too I think that would look beautiful, just kind of give a glow to the skin on a natural day. The foundation I got is from Essence, which is a very, very affordable brand. Um, I think this foundation was like $6. I got the shade Fresh Ivory, which I have no idea if this is going to match me. The color selection, I don't remember it being very great at all. There was very few foundation shades, but... I don't know, I picked up this one because this was also one of the only ones that wasn't broken into and used. This is called the Fresh and Fit Awake Makeup Healthy Glow with Vitamin Complex and Cranberry Water. Cranberry Water? I just totally remembered those commercials of those two guys for like the cranberry juice, like standing in water full of cranberries. Is that where it came from? Probably, maybe. Breathable texture with wake up effect. Let your skin glow contains a complex of vitamin B3, E, provitamin B5, and cranberry water. Medium to high coverage without the mask effect. Ooh, medium to high coverage. By the way, that primer smells so good. It's like a very fresh scent. And my skin feels really, really nice. Doesn't feel super dry. I'm really hoping the shade works out. Okay, it kind of smells a little perfumey which I'm not necessarily fond of, but let's see how it performs. Right off the bat, I don't think this is like super full coverage at the moment. I'm sure you can build it up. I do, however, like the coverage that it gave me. It's kind of like a medium. I still see my freckles like scarring, like peeking through, but I almost don't mind that because it looks pretty. Like my skin looks like skin. It looks like I'm wearing nothing. Oh my god. Also, that primer that I used, I definitely think that's making my skin look really glowy, smoothed out my pores, and the glow is still like peeking through a little bit. Like, I think in combination, my skin looks absolutely gorgeous at the moment. Like, I'm actually a little bit like 
shocked. You cannot tell where my foundation starts and ends like on my neck. I do want to take the tiniest amount of foundation and kind of like build that on my cheek. Ooh, I could definitely tell the color does dry down a tad darker. I'm going to just build it up a little on my cheek because I don't want the rest of my face around my nose to have more makeup. It definitely did add coverage. I can still see my scars peeking through. Honestly, I don't think that's going to be like a full, full coverage foundation, but it's a good solid medium and I don't mind that because it's going to be really pretty for like an everyday thing. I don't want it to always be like super heavy, my makeup. So I don't know. I actually really like that. It builds very nicely. I'm going to move on to concealer. I got three different ones. I don't know why because now I'm a little overwhelmed on what to use. I got the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Concealer in the shade Light 3. And then I got the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Multi-Use Concealer in the shade W12 Fair. Yeah. And then I got the Catrice Liquid Camouflage High Coverage Concealer in the shade. In the shade. In the shade. 10? 10? The shade is on the top. It says 10 porcelain. Wow, that took me a while. This Catrice concealer I've actually tried before like a while ago. I can't remember what I thought of it. I feel like I, I liked it, maybe? I just don't know where mine is. I don't know where it went. So I got a new one. And the Flower Beauty, I've tested out once before a while ago. I don't remember what I thought of it. I feel like it's a little dark. I think I want to try out this L'Oreal True Match one since I haven't even tried this one at all. Let's give this a go. I think this is new. I could be wrong. This is one of those concealers that have like those really squishy little sponge applicators, but we're gonna test it out. Oh boy. This product is supposed to conceal, illuminate, and hydrate. That all sounds fantastic. Okay, this is like so weird to apply because it comes out of the sides, not the top. And I'm kind of like used to doing that. Oh my gosh, it's so thick. I do like the color. Oh man, we should blend this out before it dries down. Ooh, that is a lot. I put on way too much. I wasn't really expecting that. I thought it'd be something a little bit more sheer. She's awake, guys. Wow, that is very bright. Um, it doesn't look bad though. It actually looks really, really pretty underneath the eyes. Coverage is definitely there, but it doesn't look heavy and cakey for now. We shall see. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other side. Maybe apply a little bit less. Or I don't know. I feel weird. Like I have to match it. I have to do the same thing to the other side. I will say this blends into the skin beautifully. And like very smooth and flawless. You would think it would look very cakey on the skin for like the amount of coverage it has. But I really like this a lot. I think it looks so pretty. I am going to set my face really quickly. I'm going to use my ColourPop No Filter Loose Setting Powder in Translucent and I'll be right back. Face is set. It still looks really pretty. Like I am very happy with my complexion right now. Super smooth. It doesn't look funky anywhere. Like I'm a happy camper. I don't have a new bronzer so I'm going to use this Catrice Prime and Fine Professional Contouring Palette in the shade Ashy Radiance. I do really really like this a lot. I did get this from Ulta so why not? It was a while ago but it's still really nice. It's the perfect cool tone bronzer. So if you're somebody fair or you're just looking for a nice cool contour shade, this is really nice. And the highlighter ain't too bad either. So I'm just going to pop this onto my cheeks. I just realized I don't have a highlighter either. So I might as well just use a little highlight in here after. But I do have some blushes. I got two blushes to try out. This one is from Essence. It's the Satin Touch Blush in Satin Love. I've definitely been loving this a lot. I've been using this a lot. I think I've already mentioned it on my channel before. I just couldn't resist. It just gives your skin such a beautiful glow without being shiny, sparkly, or having shimmers in it. I don't know. It's just... It's just like a very satiny, glowy blush, and I love it. And this one is the Catrice Strobing Blush in Mrs. Summer Peach. I haven't tested this one out. It's so pretty. So this is what I'm going to try out today. I'm going to take my Bedellium Tools 942, maybe? I don't know. I've had this brush for literally 100 years, and it's all scratched off. Ooh! Oh, that was a lot of powder. That was a little bit my fault because I just, like, went in there. So I'm going to take whatever's left on my brush. I think it's a really pretty color. It's a very natural peachy shade. It does have quite a bit of powder in the actual palette when you're picking it up. It's not like intense pigment on the cheek as you would think with the amount of powder that kicks up, but it is really pretty. Alrighty, for my highlighter, like I said, I'm gonna go back to this Catrice palette and I'm gonna take that on my BH Cosmetics 140 highlighting brush. 
This is a beautiful highlight. It just gives you a very luminous, glowy, healthy sheen to your skin. There's no chunks or glitter. It doesn't like emphasize your pores whatsoever. Like, look how how pretty that is i love this like i think this palette is definitely worth it it's an amazing amazing palette i think they have like one more shade i believe like they have two different ones of these before i move on i want to try this out on my lips this is from catrice it's the volumizing lip booster in the shade some bear over the rainbow like bear bear it all okay interesting so it's supposed to I don't know. It's a lip booster. It does have like that mintiness to it. So you're going to get like a little tingling sensation on your lips. It's a really cute baby pink shade. Let's see if it has any pigment. Ooh, it's really pretty. Honestly, I feel like I put maybe a little too much because it's kind of bunching up on the center of my lips. It's not sticky. It's very like light. It's a very light. Ooh, oh, it's starting to, oh, it's tingling more. Oh, I just realized I also picked up the Catrice Volumizing Lip Balm. I don't know why. Why did I get so many? Okay, well, it's this really cute, like, lipstick-shaped balm, and it's this cute pink color. I'm going to swatch on the back of my hand. Ooh, very smooth. It has a tint of pink, but I don't think that's going to show up once you put it on your lips. That looks really nice. It looks... Oh, this has like that mintiness to it as well. I got two pencils. I got one from Essence. It's the Super Last 24 Hour Eyebrow Pomade Pencil, waterproof in a 10 blonde. Mm, okay. And then I got the Catrice again. God, what all the Catrice? Slimmatic Ultra Precise Brow Pencil, waterproof again. And this is in 10 light. They're both in 10. That looks really fair. What? Was I okay when I was shopping? This one right here is the Catrice, and this one right here is the Essence. The Essence is definitely a little bit more darker and taupey. The Catrice one is definitely a lot lighter. Sometimes I just want a tad bit of definition without going too dark. My hair is like a little bit lighter at the ends, like you can't really see it. But yeah, I do like to keep it a little bit softer sometimes. I'm going to go into this Essence one. This is really interesting because it has like this thicker waxy formula so as i'm like brushing it through my brows i can definitely feel something coating my eyebrows the color is actually not bad at all it looks very natural i definitely feel like that waxiness in my eyebrows which i guess is a good thing because it will kind of hold your brows in place it has this really weird contraption at the end of it what is that is that like a bra i have never seen this before I am so, what the heck is that? Here's the brow with the Essence Pencil. It's such a weird feeling. I actually feel like I put like wax in my brows. It looks really nice. The color is super pretty. It's very like bushy natural. I think I guess I'll do the other pencil on the other side, even though this is going to kill me. If it doesn't look the same, I might switch off. This is the Catrice Brow. I actually really like that because it's a smaller pencil. It's a little bit easier to get more defined look as opposed to this one. Like I don't have a defined tail on this one. So I don't know. I actually like both of them and I think I would reach for both of them. I'm going to put a little bit of this on this side and a little bit of this on this side just so I feel normal. The last few things that I picked up from Ulta are lip products and I realized I didn't get anything for the eyes. I feel like I just generally don't gravitate towards eye products when I'm shopping. I like complexion and lip products, I think they're just a lot more fun for me. But just to stick with the theme of like the drugstore Ulta thing, I'm gonna use this brand new Milani Gilded Desires palette. This is very, very new. I don't know if Ulta carries this yet, but they do carry the brand Milani. I just got this, I haven't swatched it or anything. It's so pretty, you guys. Like, oh my gosh, I just wanted to like swatch a few shades. Whoa, holy moly. That is pretty. I am going to just create a quick look using this palette. It's a beautiful rose gold. Ooh, not bad, Milani. Not bad. I feel like these two down here are like highlighters or something. Maybe you can use it on your face. They are quite blinding. Whoa, 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 whoa. As usual, I'm starting off with like a matte nude shade kind of all over my lid just to set it and also underneath my brow bone. These shadows do have quite a bit of kickback when you pick it up with your finger or your brush they are quite powdery but they apply really nicely with the same brush i'm going into a much deeper dark brown matte shade and i'm going to darken up the crease a little bit i'm taking a really tiny amount of this matte black and i'm just focusing that 
on the outer parts of my eyes. I'm going to take this really frosty shade and I'm going to apply that on the inner corners of my eyes. It is a little powdery. Let's see how it applies with the brush. I know with the finger it was quite intense. I'm going to go in with the finger on the other side. Oh yeah, <laughs> a lot more intense. I'm going to take that really dark brown that we used in the crease and I'm going to just smudge this on my lower lash line. I'm going to take a little bit of this pearly shade with a small brush and I'm going to pop this underneath the brow bone. Oh, wow, that is really pretty. It does have like some fallout. I don't know if you guys can see that. They're like really pretty shades, but they do have like a powderiness to them. I feel like it's best used wet probably. For my lids, I'm going to take this beautiful rose gold shade. I'm going to try with a dry brush first and see how that applies. Let's see what happens. Hmm. Not much. I went ahead and wet my brush. Now let's see how it applies. Definitely a lot better. Mm. I'm going to take my finger because I feel like that's the best way to do it. These are definitely shadows that you're going to have to apply with your finger. These two down here are actual highlighters. I just read the back. So I'm going to mix both of them together and apply that on top of my already existing highlighter just to see what happens. Ooh. Okay, okay. I love it as a highlighter. That's gorgeous. I'm gonna go ahead and throw on some mascara really quickly and I'll be right back. So lastly, to finish off the look we have at lips, I have a few things to try out. I got this Revlon, Revlon Kiss Cushion Lip Tint in the shade Pretty Kiss, which is definitely a jet shade. I This is really interesting. It has a very odd shape. I don't know what to expect. I got a lip liner from Maybelline. It's the Color Sensational Shaping Lip Liner in the shade Purely Nude. And lastly, I got this L'Oreal and Balmain lipstick. It's so fancy. Love the packaging. It says Balmain and it's super bougie. I got the shade Confession, which looks like a gorgeous shade. Like, honestly, hold on. Let, let me open it. I got it sealed. It's very hard to find things that are sealed in, like, the drugstore area. I don't know why people go crazy. Ooh! Mm. Oh, it smells like, oh, this smell like takes me back to like my mom's lipsticks back in the day Like when I would go and play with her lipsticks They all had this scent to them. I like that. I'm gonna swatch this Balmain one on my hand That went on really smooth and creamy. That's a pretty shade. Okay, okay I'm gonna swatch the lip liner next to it. Oh my gosh, it matches. I didn't do that on purpose, but That's like the same exact color. Wait, that is literally the same exact color. I did not do this on purpose. They're two different brands. If we don't wear these two together, then I don't like, honestly. And we have this really interesting Revlon. Oh, that's what that is. So how do you, what the heck? Uh-huh, come on. Emma. This is like the concealer. Weird. Okay, so let's give that a little swatch. Okay, I have to try this on. Honestly, like, I'm just really curious. Is it like metallic a little bit? I can't tell. I like this. Okay, I don't, I don't understand it, but that does not mean I don't like it. I really like this and the color is beautiful. Ooh. I'm gonna go ahead and wear the liner and that Balmain lipstick and I'll be right back. This is definitely a lip color I don't rock as much. It kind of has like that peachiness to it, but oh my god, I think this is like my new favorite lip, especially for the summertime. This is gonna be so pretty. It looks beautiful with the rose gold on my eyes. It matches my little flamingos. Like I am really happy, like really happy. Yes. I thought we were done, but since I bought so many Catrice products, they actually gave me like little gifts with purchase situation and it's a makeup bag. Inside we have this spray. This is the Prime and Fine Multi-Talent Fixing Spray. It preps the skin, improves makeup wear, and refreshes the complexion. So we are going to spritz this on the face. Ooh, that is a nice mist. With that, the look is complete. Now, uh, let's look at the skin, shall we? 
let's assess the situation honestly my skin looks beautiful it looks absolutely flawless the color looks great on me like it doesn't look off whatsoever it's just my skin is smooth I have beautiful coverage, I have no dry spots, no creasing whatsoever, not even in between my brows or like my forehead where I normally would, around my nose looks really nice, my cheeks, like everything just looks flawless. I'm not really going to be doing a wear test, but I will be wearing my foundation all day for as long as I can, and I will leave a note down below in the description on how it held up through the day so i'll definitely let you guys know so check that out if you're curious everything worked out nicely i don't think i have any complaints with any of the products that i bought um the milani eyeshadow again i'm not really doing a review on that i just wanted to put something on my eyes but if i was gonna throw in my like two cents i will say it's a pretty palette but i it just didn't perform the way that i thought it would like the way it was swatching it looked so metallic and beautiful but once on the eyes like it's still pretty it's a little bit more subtle the mattes performed really well some are a little bit more powdery than others the highlight however was gorgeous like i think it definitely added this beautiful sheen to my cheeks without looking chalky or glittery so i don't know it has its hits and misses it's definitely a really pretty palette it is a drugstore palette so I don't know exactly how much it is, but I'm sure it's going to be pretty affordable, so why not give it a try if you're curious? I can't get over the lips. It's just such a beautiful color. Definitely, I feel like I'm going to be wearing this a lot during the summertime. This is like the perfect summer nude. Everything else, like the blush, the brows, like it was all great. I think I really liked everything that I purchased. I'm very happy. A lot of these are going to be incorporated in my daily routine for sure, like I already know, so... I'm really excited. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know in the comments down below if you guys have tried any of these products out. What do you think? Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Messy Jessie Beauty, Snapchat Jessie Jet, Instagram Makeup by Jessie. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so before you go. I would appreciate it so very much. And of course, hit that little bell so you're notified every time I post my videos. Woo! I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. <laughs>